A Boy at War by Harry Mazur. Harry Mazur's A Boy at War, published in 2001, tells the story of a 14-year-old boy named Adam Pelko who comes from a military family and lives the events of Pearl Harbor. It is just a matter of chance that Adam and his two friends are fishing in a rowboat on the harbor on that terrible day when the attack occurs. At first, the boys assume that they have been caught in a drill, but quickly realize that the planes and bombs are real. In the confusion following the disaster, Adam helplessly witnesses the sinking of the Arizona, the ship on which his father is aboard. The rest of the book goes on to describe the awful events and distraught he and his family had to experience. In addition to being a great historical fiction novel, A Boy at War is about growing up and becoming a man and a hero. This is the first book in the trilogy, which includes my next book, A Boy No More. A Boy No More is the second book of the trilogy by Harry Mazur. Adam Pelko witnessed something horrible, the sinking of the USS Arizona during the attack on Pearl Harbor, which his father was aboard. Since then, Adam and his mother and sister have moved to California, where they are trying to rebuild their lives and take their thoughts away from the terrible events that have occurred. But no matter where Adam goes, he can't get away from the effects of the war. His best friend, Davy, has asked for help. Davy is a Japanese-American, and his father has been arrested and taken to Manzanar, a Japanese internment camp. Adam isn't sure what to do. If he goes to Manzanar and starts asking questions, he could be risking his own life. But can he simply not do anything and risk losing Davy's friendship forever? In this follow-up to Harry Mazur's fantastic book, A Boy at War, Harry Mazur explores questions of friendship and loyalty with World War II going on and a time when boys had to grow up fast and become men.